Hello everyone. Robometrics presents another ROS tutorial in which I'm going to talk about ROS services. So we have seen publishers and subscribers and that is a very flexible communication protocol, but it has too many one to one transports. So if a subscriber is there, it will keep on pinging publisher for a topic and that would keep on going on and on and on. But ROS services uses something different. It will only call when my service requests something. Otherwise, it would be on standby. Let me start by creating a package over here. Going into my source folder, catkin, create package. My package's name, say service node, followed by the dependencies. I'm creating a package again over here because one thing that has to be kept in mind is message generation, which is an important dependency for ROS services. Going into my service node file, I'm going to start by creating a service folder or SRV. So MKDIR SRV. Inside my SRV, I'm going to create a txt file with the parameter ending .srv. Let's say my file's name is add to ints.srv. This file will contain two things, a request part and a response part. So what is my request part? I have to add two integers. So let me define them as int 64 a int 64 b. In the next line, I have to separate the request and response by three dashes. Finally, my response part, which is int 64 sum. Saving and exit. So my very first step of creating a service call or a service message is done. Next, I'm going to go into my CMake list and edit a few things. So starting with my dependencies, which are already over here and they are perfect. The first edit that I have to do is over here. Add service files, files, and you guessed it right. I have to type in my service files name, add to ints. Uh, this n has to be small, perfect. Again, message generation has to be uncommented. Generate messages. Also, to keep a check over here, I have to add in a couple of lines in my catkin package bin destination for Python. So over here, I'm going to uncomment these four lines too. What is this basically? This, if you read over here, mark executable scripts for installation in setup.py. So when you are doing catkin make, this has to be called or this gets called so that there is no conflict in the dependencies of a service, of a ROS service basically. So again, this scripts folder, I do not have a scripts folder. Let's create one. MKDIR scripts. Going into my scripts folder, I have to create two Python files over here, a server file and a client file. So let me first create the files, come back here and then write them over here. I already have two files over here, which I am just going to copy and paste and then explain it to you. So let me get over with the Python files first client.py and scripts server.py. CMake list is done. Opening my client file and the server file. My client file is basically taking in the arguments of the two integers. So what I have over here is some basic installations or header files and from service node which was the node that i just created or th or the package that i just created 
dot service folder i have to import all the service messages when the code starts running over here i'm going to provide two integers in the terminal itself which would be read in this x and y variable format and then this is gonna start and execute add to in clients function which will pass on x and y once this goes over here I have a line over here say ross spy dot service proxy add to ints and add to ints. So this is the file or this is the line that calls the service proxy or which will go onto the server side, which is over here. So if I see over here, this add to ints gets compared with add to ints over here, which is the service file that is being called continuously. And then this add to ints as a callback function will go into the handle add to ints function which is gonna request a and b and add them a and b if you remember are the variables from my service file that i had created the add to ints.srv file so if you see over here i i am importing add to ints and add to ints response as well so what is this basically Add to ints is my request part, but add to ints response is my response part. So all I have to do over here is whatever file that I have, add a response word to it. And ROS will automatically understand as to what is happening. This is going to return add to ints response with a variable, common variable called sum, which would be the int64 sum variable that we had created. And this would come back over here again on the client side and then print my response. Perfect. So this is done. I have two more things to be done before I can run the code. The first thing is edit my package.xml. What do I have to edit? Message runtime. And the other thing is making both the Python scripts executable. So over here, I am in my scripts folder and chmod plus x server.py and chmod plus x client.py. If I do ls, both of them are highlighted in light green. That means both my files are converted into executables. Now all I have to do is cat can make. So before cat can make, I'll just check if my raw score is running or not. And if I check over here, raw score is present. So going into my package cat can make. The file was created successfully. The service node was created. Source this. Let's see if my service node is recognized by the ROS service show command ROS service show and what is my package's name service int add to ints and it is present over here perfect so my package is done let's just run the server file and the client file so the very first thing is running the server file ROS run package's name service node and the server file so this is printing ready to add two ints. Clearing my other terminal and just sourcing it. ROS run packages name again, service client. And what did my client accept? Two different integers, one and let's say five, enter. This returned one plus five, that is six. And this requested one plus five, and I have the answer as six over here. If I look into the specifics as ROS topic list, I have a ROS service list as well. If I want any other information for this service list, let's say what is add to ints, ROS service info add to ints. And I'll have the node name, where it is publishing from. So this is my computer's IP right now. And okay, so I have an error over here, unable to load type this. Why did this error come? Because this terminal is not sourced from my ROS package. So let me jump 
back to my package source devil setup bash and then run ross info add so i have i did not get any error here type service node add to ends and the args are a and b this can be a quick check as to everything is happening properly or not i think that was all for a basic understanding of what ross services are stay tuned robomatrix